So, you decided to abandon your ancestry by wearing shoes instead of going barefoot in the Amazon jungle. You and your fancy shoes. Ooh, look at me, I'm a prince. Well, picking the right pair of shoes may be a life or death matter for your feet, spine, and fallopian penile implant. I love your colon girl, it's my world. I won't ever make a sound. So when I started eating healthier eight years ago, maybe nine now, time does pass eventually. I started doing more research and I would discover other areas other than diet to improve your health. There was grounding, get your bare feet on the ground, connect to mother earth, release all your discharge, shower filters, you filter out the water to bathe your filthy body with. You don't want chlorine on your bum. You chlorine bum bitch. There's so many non-diet related ways to improve your health and your life. Positive thinking, avoiding EMFs, not exposing yourself to too many fluorescent lights all the time, the blue light before you go to bed, footwear. If you go to any foot store, wow, there's no such thing. If you go to any shoe store in the city, you're gonna find some terrible things that could destroy your health, your back, your knees, your life. I'm gonna tell you about all the things I can think of to look for in footwear, things to avoid, and why I've been wearing the cheapest shoes on planet Earth for years, beach shoes. They're literally beach shoes meant to be worn at the beach. Why I wear these everywhere, no matter what. First, I want you to take a look at your feet. I probably should have washed these things before I did this video. Pay attention, oh my God, that ant is gonna kill me. Don't touch my foot, don't do it. Oh my God, he's gonna do it. Okay, you can touch it, but don't bite me. Okay, I want you to pay attention to the curve. Are your feet all like squished together like this? Cause that's what shoes are designed to do. They're, they're not wide enough to let your feet spread. Your feet should be like super wide like that. Like that is a normal foot. I'm almost thinking of getting those toe spacers. Look those up on Amazon and they space your toes out and you wear them all day and eventually you go back. Cause this, that's not normal. This is normal. They should be wide spread like a duck, you duck foot bitch. So that's the first problem with footwear, most of it are these narrow toe things that just squish your feet together and they warp your foot and it screws up your stride. So make sure when you're buying a pair of shoes that you, you can stretch your toes like all the way within the shoe, no restriction whatsoever. The second thing and probably the most dangerous aspect of footwear of all times, that is the arch, the arch support. What? Your foot has that arch for a reason. You see it flattens out as you step in it. Look at that. L oh, so natural. The human foot was designed by Flat Earth Jesus at a potluck. And he decided the arch, that will help. That will help shock proof your life. The human foot is designed to carry a heavy ass man heavy ass obese man down the street to buy watermelon to lose the weight. Then some asshole, Shoe Stevenson, came out with the arch support. Oh, let's, let's support that. Let's blunt its ability to flex. Let's just do that. I tell you this, I haven't worn arch support shoes in years and I feel better. My knee pain went away. My back is straighter. I feel like no pain in my body, especially when I'm on the raw foods. Cooked food is a stiff up bitch pain bringer of hell. You have to test this for yourself. I'm sorry about all the joy in the background. I know it's painful. You have to test this for yourself. You go with a more barefoot shoe that doesn't have the arch support and then you try shoes with arch support and you feel pain immediately. Within like five minutes of just walking around, you're like, oh, what is that? We're designed to flex around, not like this. Not like that necessarily, but we can do it. Imagine we needed support for all our bends. Like my back bends here naturally. What, should I wear a little pad 
that keeps it there like that so it can never move and I have to walk like this. I don't want to walk like this. I shouldn't have to. So ditch the arch support and you will notice because your body has to compensate for that movement. When your feet are no longer flexing, it alters your stride completely. Your knees will do different things to compensate for that and then you get knee pain and then it just works its way up your body till you have hip pain and then you got back pain and then your neck won't even look around. Can't even see an ax murder coming to kill you. You're just like, oh, I'll just do it. Just do it. <laughs> so really those are the main two things to look out for. Shoes that are too tight and shoes that have arch support. And they're both inhibiting in their own way. They don't allow the foot to flex. And that's what you want in a shoe. So this is why I buy beach shoes. Beach freaking shoes. You know how much these cost? These are $8. There's like no support whatsoever. They're a completely flexible shoe. It's just like a rolly up shoe. I've had these for like three years. They drain your water out, they're breathable, they got the mesh. It's a completely freedom shoe. Get your freedom back with the shoe.com. Oh, you shit. And before you say, oh, you just, you sit around all day, you don't actually walk. I walk for a living. I sold my bike, I've been walking. Even before I sold the bike, I go for long walks all the time. I've been walking three hour walks in these things. My feet are never sore, ever. My knees, nothing. There's nothing that you need to worry about. Okay, there's one thing you need to worry about. There's like almost no sole protection. So you have to be more weary and mindful of where you step. If you step on a sharp rock, you're gonna feel it. But you, you get in tune with it. It's like you feel something, you don't put all your weight on it. You just, you become a natural, in interconnected human that feels the earth and all its surrounding items. If you live in a drunk teenager zone where smashing bottles on the street is a pastime, you might want to not wear these kind of shoes. Like stepping on glass. I've stepped on glass and it doesn't penetrate. If you're mindful, as you walk over the glass, you're fine. But if you're just like... That glass will sneak right up on you. So after researching a ton, they have a bunch of barefoot shoes. They got the five foot, five toe Vibrams. Those five toe stupid glove shoes. They are so uncomfortable to me. My big toe sticks in, it's weird, I can't do it. But they have a bunch of like barefoot mimicking shoes, but I have not found a pair as good as beach shoes for $8. And all of them are expensive. They, some of them have arch support and none of them are wide enough. I have a super wide foot. It's so hard to find any shoe. So you can find shoes like this on Amazon for 20 bucks. I just ordered another pair cause I'm, I'm not sure if I can get them in Thailand and I'm worried that these are gonna wear out in a couple years and then I'll have to wear sandals or something. I can't do the flip flops with that stupid thing in the middle of your toe and that's what you have to hold on to. You gotta squeeze your big toe together. What are you, a leopard? All right, I just ate some watermelon in a park. I have no idea where I left off. I could have left off anywhere. How's that wind? I got a furry wind cover. It's so windy right now. You shouldn't be, if you hear it, I swear to God. I will sue everybody. So get a pair of these beach shoes, try them out. Wow, that was a lot of birds. See you later, birds. Going to get yourself some beach shoes. There may be an adjustment period, because you're used to that arch support. You're used to being supported like a little baby. Nursed like a baby. But you, it's gonna take a while. Sorry, man. <laughs> that messed me up. It's gonna take a while to redevelop your strength and flexibility of the foot arch. So it'll take a while, but you get used to it. It's so windy. Please tell me that you can't hear it at all. It doesn't seem windy at all. That'd be great. I'm crying. It's so windy. Would I go running in these things? There's a bee following me. Swing around front. 
swim? Uh, would I run in these? I do. I do. You just, if you're a runner and you're switching to these overnight, you'll probably develop some shin splints, <laughs> something. Oh, the blue hair on's back. Is that what it is? The blue hair on. You're so majestic. I want to step, I want to walk out to you in this parasite ridden pond just to say hello. I could do that. I have beach shoes. What do you know about that? They're designed for me to walk out to you. Such a cool bird. I want to see you fly. People say you look like a pterodactyl. What is that sound? Hey, little buddy. Had to get somewhere quiet to finish off this video. I hate that traffic noise so much. So these shoes, the only annoying thing sometimes with these particular shoes is it, I kick in pebbles somehow. Like I, they just kick up and fly in my feet, in my shoes. So I gotta like take them off several times. I'll do, oh, there's another rock in there. Take them off. It's all good. It slows you down a little bit. So I think we're about done here for today. Let me know if you like the video and if you're gonna get a pair of beach shoes and free your feet. It's so freeing. We should try, aim for being the most natural possible. And Archie support shoes, that ain't natural. Some things like a laptop isn't natural, but I need it to live so I can't just use rocks to upload videos. I've tried, I tried, took like three hours. Ain't nobody got time for that. What's on the lens? So thanks for watching the video, my friend. Consider sharing it with people you know who have feet. Could be beneficial to them. You never know whose life you're gonna save by just clicking that share button. Trying to keep you out of the sun. I don't know the secrets to exposure on this camera. Sometimes it's just like I'm dark and the sky is light. It should be where I'm normal and who cares what's out there. Get your priorities straight. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down. If you wear high heeled platform shoes to hide the fact that your short wrinkled body is so undesirable that no woman or man could want you. They want what's in here. And what's in here, not what's out here. Even though it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, we're done here. Exposure, beautiful. And thank you for watching again. I, I don't know what happened. Things got awkward quick. I started moving weird. Oh, there's people watching me. That makes it so much worse. That makes it so much worse. Okay, we're done. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.